Hello, this is Wolfram Miller speaking and this is a very short tutorial how to use um, a critical chain Excel file um, to monitor and manage um, a full-blown project so planning and execution in it. Um, yes, let's start. Um, this is the Excel. Um, it's it's uh, not very unusual. You here see um, an area where you can define tasks. You see an, an area where you can define uh, predecessors and some planning durations. And that's the first thing um, that has to be done is to build a project plan. So um, I, I start with a very, very simple one. Uh, the first task maybe is hmm, thinking, thinking a little about what to do. Um, I think it's programming in the end. So there's um, a task. Um, this is, by the way, um, the start date of the project. And you have to define a predecessor, of course. And that's clear. That's a task zero, the start of the project. Fine with it. And oh, I already have entered some uh, planned duration. Maybe I don't need nine days, so just five days. And um, the, what you can do the, here in this program, you can just uh, push the update button, and then a gun chart is planned, uh, is um, is designed. Oh, and what you now see is there's already a project fever curve, but there's nothing in it because you're all, uh, just in planning mode. So back to planning and if you go to the right side you now see uh, that there's already some execution control um, so this task is ready to start because it's the first um, one and there's some remaining duration. What you also see, uh, now you will see a, a gun chart, uh, this is the first Monday um, uh, according to the start date and the gray bars you see these are, um, um, yeah, it's, it's a part of the gun chart, the bar of the gun chart. And um, we defined five working days, so it must be, I think, seven days long. It's uh, one, two, three, two days here in this week, and three days in the next week, and that's it. Okay, what you also see is that there are some dots or uh, small uh, hyphens. Um, they indicate the, the shortened critical chain plan. So that's the first plan. Um, thinking a little about what to do. A uh, next task could be hmm, um, I, I'm usually uh, programming. So programming the stuff I thought of. Um, perfect. Well, sometimes um, it takes a little longer, maybe 10 days. Uh, but uh, I can't start programming without thinking. So the predecessor is the number one. And also I can do an update uh, and a fever curve. So, and now you see um, that this uh, macro behind the update button is just calculating these formulas behind uh, the plan. So you have um, the 1st of uh, March, uh, 7 day calendar days, 5 working days, and the next um, uh, work package just can start after this, and then you have uh, the end date, and that's it. Uh, this current start and current end, this is um, coming to life when we really start with execution because this is a plan how it really looks like every day. So back to the plan now we have I think two work packages the first one and the second one and you see the second one starts just after the first one and you see the, the concentrated the, the, the shortened uh, critical chain path uh, plan is here. So, okay, fine with it. Sometimes, um, parallel to programming, 
maybe someone else writing a tutorial writing the tutorial um, it has a different number of course you can you use whatever number you want even uh, even uh, letters are uh, valid in this um, of course the predecessor is also one because you can't start uh, writing a tutorial without um, thinking um, writing is not so long I think it's six days or something like that so now you have a second plan so and if you do a, an update you should see that these both are in parallel if everything works and you also see that this um, Excel macro is calculating of course latest possible start so okay um, and after writing the tutorial and programming the stuff um, there will be some end-to-end -end tests I think and I'm a friend of uh, testing according to the tutorial so um, doing the end to end tests can start only if the programming is done and the tutorial is there. The end to end test typically takes five days or something around that. And now we have a complete plan. Let's check. So. Uh, that's an end test and maybe we need a party party milestone that's a milestone and the party milestone is just valid if the end-to-end -end test is done a milestone does not have a duration. So let's have a check to the plan. There's a milestone, everything's fine. And now you see the difference between this um, shortened plan and the real plan. That is a project and buffer for the fee recurve in critical chain. So let's go back. You already see that the macro calculated uh, which of the work packages can be done. You see that the successes, the predecessors, everything's fine. So now you have uh, a small but beautiful critical chain plan. So what's next? The next step is having a plan that's always beautiful but um, execution management is a key and you already see that this uh, task is highlighted in yellow that means yellow means ready to start so uh, that is a plan um, it took me just a few minutes to do the plan so now I can start with the next um, with the first work package now you see it's red, red means okay it's in progress and then I have to estimate how long does it take hmm. okay um, I estimated it, it it will take five days so I just think um, it's, it's still five days and now I can update and then um, the, the macro is calculating how much of the buffer is already consumed and you see uh, we do not have any progress at all but already 70 percent buffer consumption hmm um, that is not very um, astonishing because in critical chain you think that two-third of the the estimated plan duration is real and uh, one-third is a buffer so we already uh, consumed here two days of buffer and if you go uh, to the plan you see that the buffer is not very very big and um, we already consumed two days of this and that's the value we saw in the field curve 
So that's day one. Project uh, plan is done. I already start some thinking. And now there will be a next day, the second day. So, and um, on the second day, I have to rethink all the remaining durations of the um, in progress work packages. In this case, uh, nothing unusual. Uh, one day um, is gone, and um, I can reduce the thinking time by one day, and I just do an update. And you see, we generated some progress, but of course, the buffer consumption is still high. So, okay, what's happening next? Uh, we are now, now on the Friday, and on Saturday and Sunday I do now nothing. So we will be on the 5th of April, uh, March. And um, if you just proceed without reducing the remaining duration, um, of course you will see, uh-oh, um, the buffer consumption uh, will go up and that's very interesting because a uh, critical chain just works with uh, durations and uh, this time uh, in this case calendar days we generated some progress mm, but it's it's just a calculated one but that's not in real longer projects this is not a problem at all so but of course um, I think that it will just take three days so the buffer consumption is, is not at all, and, and so uh, works uh, the execution management. But maybe on the 6th um, of March, um, I had a very, very good idea, and I just need one day um, longer just to clean up my thoughts, write it down, and you will see now we have some buffer regain and still some progress. So that's it. Um, and on the 7th, maybe um, I'm finished, hopefully. And then you see, if you, if you push the update button, um, in this case, you will get a message. Because if you have a, a work package instead of uh, finished for F, then it's not allowed to have a remaining duration. No problem just remove it and the fever curve is as it is. So, and now you see this one is green and the other ones are uh, yellow for ready to start and of course I start programming and I had a very good idea so maybe I just think I need eight days or something like that. So, let's have a look. Ah, buffer consumption, it's because uh, uh, the buffer is calculated with one-third of uh, uh, the project duration, so even the good idea was not good enough. So let's have a look, and um, you always see the gray project plan, that is like it is planned originally, and the dots are the critical chain shortened plan, but if we work here with execution mode and, and then uh, the plan takes the real data you enter. So that's, that's what we did today. We are on the 7th. Maybe uh, we forget one day um, to do the execution management. It's, it's Friday. Um, but on Friday I think it's just six days or even five days. So let's have a look. Oh, well, that's very good. Um, and now maybe something's happening. 10, 11, 12. On Monday um, it's still fine. It's, it's five or four. But I still did not start with the writing tutorial. Because the one uh, I thought uh, writing the tutorial is not available at all. So I still consume buffer because this is not started. And now I think this will get 
the longest uh, path. So uh, writing the tutorial will take longer than the programming. So I really go around finding someone um, who's doing it and yes I found someone in and I can set it in progress and I really plan six days mm, but but she's or he he's very good now but I don't know how really uh, it works so the estimate is six six remaining days and now I think it's getting more and more critical because um, the, the writing the handbook is um, uh, on the longest path and on the next day I just have to look on the calendar so the next day is the 13th I found someone else who, who can help writing I myself no I, I lost some days because I just went running around finding someone but um, they think they can do it in three days uh, with two people and now ah, it's still in red if you start in red it's always hard to come back in, the, in such a uh, short um, project and so it goes on on the 15th two days later maybe I'm nearly finished and they have to to do one day uh, back in yellow but then it comes typically um, I'm back on one day on the 16th oh, now I have to look I don't want to use a Saturday but it works also on Saturdays that's no problem the 16th is a Friday so fine Friday review and Friday review means I'm finished but the handbook just takes a day to finish so that's the status back in yellow fine and on um, Monday even the handbook was finished so there are three green ones and the end-to-end -end tests can start and typically on end-to-end -end test you start and of course you know it everything went wrong um, um, you have to put it back to in progress now we will be I think very red or red at all so this is fine and so it goes on day by day I hope this is now we are doing progress every day and in the last on the last day of course nothing will go better even worse so we are in the big red and maybe on the next day it gets better hopefully back in line and so it, so it goes with the execution management what you see here is every day you do an update um, the Excel is recording the progress and the buffer consumption and because um, uh, every day curve is, is very going zigzag um, the Excel just takes the last of the week and then every dot in the curve is one week okay um, let's have a look at the plan we are at the 18th uh, no, not the 18th, uh, 26, 22, something around that if we proceed like this we will um, be successful um, the next Monday is the 26 that, that will be a day when it's nearly finished the stuff so but it's still in progress uh, it's not so easy to do the end-to-end -end tests
So it always goes in the red in the last days. But then, but on the 27th, I can uh, state that it's finished. So it's finished. Update. And we are nearly at the end. So we can have the party, the milestone. And that's it. Program finished, project finished, and that's the way how this Excel works. And if you uh, look in the internet, you will find thousands of fever curves. You can do it in agile mode, you can do it in a classical mode. But this is a very simple uh, version of it um, in a small Excel. Uh, in this case, a very simple project plan, but it also works uh, with more complex projects. Um, yeah, we use it in small and medium size change management projects to keep the people on track. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for listening and have fun with the Excel. Bye bye.